It's Tuesday the 18th of October, I'm Erin Bates and here are your top stories. A total of 567 people have been arrested during eight months of fees must fall protests. This is according to the acting police commissioner Homoto Patlane, who issued the number during a statement on Monday. The charges include violence, intimidation and malicious damage to property and the arrests were made in 265 cases. That's a little more than half of the number of people arrested. Patlane refused claims that police were targeting specific individuals, as has been suggested in the case of former Witz University SRC President Ndebo Dlamini. He was arrested on Saturday evening and first appeared in court yesterday. Dlamini is expected to apply for bail in Johannesburg's Magistrates Court today. The Secretary of the National Assembly says he personally delivered the so-called state capture report to the new Public Protector's Office. Masibulele Kaso says the report was kept under lock and key in Parliament over the weekend after outgoing public protector Tuli Madonsela sent it there for safekeeping. On Friday, Parliament said the report would be sent back to the public protector. The ANC said on Saturday that Speaker Baleka Mbete would keep the report safe until Monday. Mbete distanced herself from Parliament's earlier communication, which essentially rejected the report. Kaso said he received confirmation that it had been received by new public protector advocate Busisiwe Mkwebane. And finally, Youth in Prison South Africa is training formerly incarcerated young people in art and entrepreneurship. They hope to give former prisoners skills to cope once they are reintegrated into their communities. Boipelo Chwane spoke to News24. He's an ambassador who recalls the stigma faced once he left prison. And he says this is the biggest obstacle to reintegrating with communities after serving time. For more on this and other news as it breaks, go to news24.com.